And it's time now to imagine it at 947 on this Saturday. Here's 13 ABC's chief meteorologist Jay Birchback and the Imagination Station's chief scientist Carl Nelson with a special St. Patrick's Day science experiment. Hi again folks, I'm meteorologist Jay Birchback along with Carl Nelson. We're at the Imagination Station behind the scenes today. And with the uh, St. Patrick's Day holiday coming up here, always thinking about how leprechauns want to find that pot of gold. Well today we're going to kind of, in a way, make gold. Kind of. Carl, take kind it away. Of. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some, some regular old pennies, okay? And I'm going to throw them in a solution of zinc and sodium hydroxide. Okay. I'm going to let that bubble away for a little bit. Pennies before 1982 were actually made of solid copper. Then copper prices shot up, and so now pennies are made of a zinc core coated with a little bit of copper. Okay, and save the money. That's kind of interesting because if you take something like some liquid nitrogen here, which is 320 degrees below zero, it's actually cool. going to cool down a penny from after 1982, one of these guys right here. And what I want to do is show you some of the material properties of zinc um, by cooling this down very, very cold, and then we're going to take it out of the liquid nitrogen and smash it with a hammer. Call me Thor. Do it. Hey, look at that. Shattered. Shattered. And Broke. if you look right inside, really closely, you see it looks kind of like gray metal in there? Yes. That's the zinc. Okay. You can't even see the copper coating until you turn the penny sideways. Wow. All right? So that's what new pennies are made of. So we're going to use some zinc and some copper to try to uh, turn what we have inside here into a golden coin or maybe ah. even a silver coin. Okay. So this is the end product of soaking it in the... Um, sodium hydroxide and zinc. We get a nice coating of zinc on the outside of the penny. Nice and shiny. Nice mm -hmm. and shiny. It kind of almost looks like a silver penny of sorts. Now, <laughs> the cool thing here is we can actually make an alloy. We can melt some of that zinc into the copper. Okay. I'm, now, now I'm using pennies that are solid copper. Okay. These are before 82. These are before 82. Okay. So what we're going to do is take a little torch and heat up the zinc. It'll diffuse into the copper and form an alloy that looks sort of like this. So it takes a few seconds here, but this is where the magic happens as we start to heat up the pennies. Give it a second, and you should start oh, to see the transformation cool. of the penny into sort of a golden penny. That is really so neat. And that's all because the, um, the copper, or the zinc, I should say, on the outside, has diffused into the penny. And that's a different color than the actual penny is. It's a different color than More the actual penny. More of a golden penny. color. Different color than the zinc coated penny. Wow. All right? So copper to zinc to gold. Air Not quotes. Air quote Gotta gold. Gotta use the air quotes. Air quote gold. Right. It's actually sort of <laughs> yellow brass. But um, kind of a fun thing for St. Patrick's Day. Too. That is really neat. Leprechaun science. All right. We'll call you Carl. Carl, that is. O. Nelson. There you go. From now on. <laughs> You've been uh, dubbed that with this magical transformation. All looks like, also looks like the Olympics a little bit. A little bit. With does. the three different medals they give out. So Very nice. Good stuff. All right. Thank you so much, Carl sure. Nelson. For Carl, I'm meteorologist Jay Birchback, and that was Imagine It.